faces, they're just, uh, you have your friend face, and your family face, and uh, your work face, and any other number of faces.
Alright, um, yeah, let's, let's just move everything that was in that far in there. Right 
just to be extra cool. Yeah. I don't mind sell this at home, essentially.
And if there's anything that you get of me that you think is more James than you, can you dump that all on one continuous video as well? Yeah, okay. God, the picture quality is fantastic. <laughs> Which camera is that? That's bigger. Jesus. You see, your father's not all bad. <laughs> he showed you how to make it get done with the juice. That's, I, I didn't even jack it up. That's probably more the stabilisation from the uh, added hand grip. Because uh, it's a lot more I stable. Knew, well, I knew. I mean, there was Richard and I. Richard and I knew before first I went wrong that I had about another three thousand pounds to spend on my end of kit, and I had to spend fifteen hundred quid this week on bits and bits you don't see. So, and there's some very clever technical stuff going in behind stuff that none of you care about, so long as the you believe the Fiat. You will trust Sean to do your business with you. You felt he's you cool. think he's a cool guy to deal with. <laughs> um, he's the man I've chosen to do it. Um, but I don't think truthfully, apart from having the confidence in believing his figures and the other stuff in the computer's account, um, you can ask him any question about anything. You know, his commercial brain is also at your disposal as well, so there may come a time, but that's, your hat looks brilliant. <laughs> you must never change that. You must never change it. Or, not for a while, not until Ron and I give you a makeover. <laughs> no, we'll give you another three months before we, before we get the image consultants. Which is perfectly good. Like, it's not the other one, but no, that's cool. I, I, I'm getting some light box. I'm, I'm making a light box and stuff. I've got some scenes. I want to play with it. But they want Richard Martin wants it all sent over to the family in Guyana, and he's asked me to make sure it looks good to send to the family. When is that? The 
to a, give the day you're away. Ah, otherwise I can take you up there. Um, I'm Rice Cone. So, Wampong loves Buddha. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs>
the arrangements, they're part of an A of a different age. Uh, so that's important. But the most important thing is, I would say, if you've been digging roads since you were 16, or working in a sheet metal work, in a shop on your people day since you were 16, you've probably been looking forward to your retirement. And I think now, for a woman who's been particularly badly in the office, all the changes, to go from 60 to 67, 68 and beyond,
least it's not too I'm not sure in that one tiny segment there, the alarm went off twice. It did. <laughs> Caduceus! It's on its max, isn't it? No, it's on down there. provision of this country and I think the UK value it. I think it's somehow how we can like, demonstrate how we value it. If you look at what we've done in respect to the armed service, the armed service will return How do you get from mental health care to armed services? Like straight to armed services. I, I, I was a bit like, that's a bit of a jump the gap. Because I think, I've, I've realised now watching this, I think most of this response is That's the demographic he's going for. That he's aiming for. Well, yeah, because that is the common person now. Stuck in Burger King or Poundland or McDonald's. <laughs> Though, ironically, it is um, one of the te top ten employers in the country. Sadly. Hmm. It just goes to show that that university degree that somebody's been working on gets them, oh, into McDonald's. That's if McDonald's don't turn around and say, oh, you're too qualified, you're overqualified. <laughs> Which I've seen happen. <laughs> My girlfriend's got an arts degree or diploma, and she never knows what's higher. She's went and majored in uni, which is good. So it's pretty well, it's not like there's particular, there's much infrastructure in the way of Colchester anymore. Right, so it's close. Yeah. I don't know, it's six or seven clubs in Colchester, at least. In the high school. Including all the bars and things. Oh, I'm lost, I think. I was just including the clubs. You've got what? Uh, liquid. <laughs> AKA the Slapper Drone. Yeah, you've got liquid. Oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, you've got the now bars, you've got Yates, um, Hole in the Wall, um, they got rid of the Who Bar, sadly, because that was actually quite good. Um, the Perk and Dog, which used to be called the Clarence, I think. Years and years ago.
and they were chatting about it, and he was sitting there going, oh, if any of the other parties get in, your taxes will go up, you should fear them getting in, and that was some of the language he used, and that... Yeah, yeah, it's like a very bad party. Oh, the party of, of big business, really. I, I think there are lots of vested interests that... One of the issues is that this country used to be able to trade with the Commonwealth, trade had a cultural links with North America, geographic links with Europe. We've thrown everything into the European Union. We've upset. I've done business in Australia, and the Australians are cross with the British because they feel we ignore them for the benefit of our friends in Europe. The North Americans don't see any positive benefit in Britain, even though our language and our cultural links are, such, uh, are so similar, because we've thrown ourselves into just big dealing as one entity with Europe. If we can get our independence and actually become a country that can trade with the whole world, we can actually benefit with our brilliant entrepreneurial skills, our fantastic innovation, and we can go and do something on a world stage instead of just in Europe. Cool. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's very good. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you very much, sir. And what are you students? Do you? Uh, do uh, no, I'm actually. Um, well, I'm just doing it really. <laughs> now that you're students, I thought we're probably good for another. Just, um, as I say, I just got sick of, of not being represented by anybody, so I decided to, and, and I thought I could moan on and up. Shame you feel, shame the camera isn't centered. It just, it seems baffling. <laughs> Like an honest of people's opinions of politics and right. what people want to do. I'm a 75 year old man. I'm an ex And as such, I've always been Tory. But for the last four or five parties, Of course, I mean, one of, you know, it's the same for my generation. Uh, you know, I'm coming to the end of it. You're a person. But what I find, unfortunately, over the years is people will say almost anything to get elected. Once they're in, we don't count anymore. They're in the little bubble. And what we want are people who've got work experience, guys who've, who've done work outside work. Mark, you know, he, he's brought his own business up, he's made the
the politicians of the Green Party I think they've grown up talking about politics and the school talking about politics at the university they want to politics in those and I was there and I wonder if they have a main thing like that one way to hear is right now and the bills I don't think people are working for how they got the current
believe in policies and I can have an open speech now if I get it back into ten. I know, I don't know what that, I noticed that I picked that up the first time there. You feel you keep gives you the power to or gives you the ability to have that works. Thank you very much for your uh, no no challenge. No hope, uh, hope you're the best. No have a quick, quick little word for the camera. Yeah, you can do, you can, you do, do what you want. So, you can go on. <laughs> so uh, what is it you're out here today, Dan? Spread well, it Legacies I would like to see. Um, you know, I'm sure it's one of your legacies I 
provision in this country and I think that you can value it. I think if somehow we can, I can demonstrate how we value it. If you look at what we've done in respect to the armed service, the armed servicemen returning through areas of conflict, we're talking about giving, uh, building a special hospital for people because it's not just physically for people encounter, a lot of the time it can be actually, we should react to the Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to
you know, freedom of speech and you can live this in one which I think should be all an area. I hate being 
anything to do with social media. That's fine. 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 The UKIP guy chatting, this is the guy going through the background a few times. I hate these anything to do with social media. That's fine, that's fine. It's bad enough having no Facebook account. No Twitter account, but not in your game. That's fine, that's fine. We're done. We might have. You're good. That's fine, that's fine. We're done. We might have. Chat is just going UKIP. What you're saying, do whatever you like. That's cool. So often, the two of us, we both play the day song free to anybody for any reason. Thank you, Ryan. Boosting. 
Thank you. Mike, uh, you're on mic, I'll have a quick little word for the camera. Yeah, you can do it, you can do, do what you want. So, uh, you're on mic, I'll have a quick little word for the camera. Yeah. Thank you. Mike, uh, you're on mic, I'll have a quick little word for the camera. Uh, you're on mic, I'll have a quick little Quick little word for the camera. Yeah, you can do. You can do, do, do what you want. So, what is it you're heard today, Dan? Well, it's taking this weekend. It's uh, Market Day in Harwich. It's a great day to come down and uh, actually engage with people. So I've got a good group of people out here today. I think it's a core of about ten or twelve people we've got on the street uh, hanging out my uh, election leaflet, which I would like to think now everyone in the constituents has had the introductory leaflet. Um, and there's nothing, uh, no, no substitute for shaking someone by the hand and um, when they let you, because not everybody is on my side. So if you're watching this, but, uh, yeah, you do have some supporters here, but not as many as us. Well, thank you very much, Mark. I'll uh, get to talking to you a bit more later. I'll just stand and float around. So if you're watching this, but, uh, yeah, you do have some supporters here, but not as many as us. Uh, thank you very much, Mark. I'll, uh...
Yeah. Uh, can you, just as someone, if it's on its way to 